A staple of our YouTube channel has been our Mineral Royal PC builds. Well, actually all three of them. If you haven't seen any of them by any chance, hit the eye in the top right corner and check those videos out. But one comment we get over and over again on these Mineral Royal PC builds is, how did you do this? How does this actually work? And I kind of just realized sitting here that I actually have not made a video explaining exactly how it works or how in the world you buy mineral oil. So today, I'm going to be doing just that after a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a toolkit for all YouTubers alike. With advanced metrics and functionality within YouTube itself, including things like bulk syndication and other bulk updating tools, TubeBuddy is the best video manager for you. Want to try it yourself? Click the link down below to get a free trial. Also consider signing up for Talency with TubeBuddy Pro included. Now let's get this out of the way. No, mineral oil will not kill your computer. Mineral oil is a non-conductive liquid, therefore it will not kill computer parts. Water is different than mineral oil. It will kill your computer parts. You can't submerge a PC in water. And, oh no, fish will die in mineral oil, so that idea won't work. I know you were thinking it. Now before you embark on this lube-filled journey, you need to know a little bit more about the risks involved. 1. Your PC parts may never be the same. Once you dunk your parts in mineral oil, it should be kind of obvious, but these parts are going to be covered in it for a long, long time. There's a lot of ways you can remove mineral oil by cleaning it down manually with isopropyl alcohol or drip drying, but it takes forever. So it's really best to consider your mineral oil system not resellable because no one is going to want to buy that lubed up mess that you created. Second, upgrades are a pain. Yes, you can upgrade a mineral oil PC in theory, but you pretty much have to take everything out to do so, or at least take out some of the parts that you will need to upgrade. Keep this in mind if you are someone who actually plans on upgrading your system in the near future. It's going to be a process and you're going to want some gloves. Lastly, mineral oil systems can leak. It does happen. Mineral oil has this weird property to it where it likes to climb and cling to anything within it. So any power cords or video cords or USB cords going into the system, some of the oil might travel up the cable and leak outside the tank. It's very weird, but definitely keep paper towels nearby at all times of your mineral oil system. That's my number one recommendation. Now that we have the main negatives out of the way, let's just get into how you can go about making one. First, the tank. Years ago, Puget Systems, a PC boutique manufacturer, used to have a case that was actually designed for mineral oil PCs that you could buy. It's the exact same one that Linus Tech Tips used in their mineral oil PC build. However, they were forced to stop selling this due to copyright infringement claims. We recommend really any fish tank that you can find that fits your components that you want. I'll show a couple of the ones that I recommend or I've used before on the screen here. Most of them are available on Amazon or your local retailer like a Walmart or any sort of pet store where you can get a fish tank. There's no real exact science to getting the perfect tank, but as long as you measure and measure and measure again, you should be pretty good before you make your purchase. Speaking of components, I always recommend going as small as possible. Micro ATX should be the largest you should go in terms of your motherboard, unless you know 100% that everything is going to fit. Also, it's just kind of smart because micro ATX motherboards are really easy to find, they're cost effective, and plus you don't want to have a massive tank anyways because you'd be having to spend a lot more money on mineral oil to fill that thing up. More on that later. SSDs are a must because you cannot submerge a hard drive in mineral oil. You just can't. It won't work. You'll kill the hard drive. So really, you're stuck going for a high capacity SSD and using something like an external hard drive for your mass storage in games. But just know, and I'm telling you this again, you cannot submerge a hard drive in mineral oil. Now, how the hell do you get mineral oil? Well, that is a great question because it honestly depends. A ton of supermarket chains carry mineral oil, but the fun part is that there is a very limited amount of stock that they keep and how small the bottles actually are. The average bottle that we've seen is about one pint and costs you about two bucks a pint. So let's say you have an average five gallon tank, which is pretty normal for a small mineral oil PC build. You would need at least 40 of them to fill it up to the tip top. However, with displacement taken into account, you should be able to get away with about 30 bottles. You can definitely start to see how this is a slow process, especially if your store is really slow to restock. Yes, there are some bulk buying options online that I've found from my research, but they are either A, very expensive, or B, very hard to order in certain areas. 
this project just is going to take some time. And if you want to save and get the best value for the money, you're just going to have to go to a bunch of retail stores, clear their inventory, and come back the next day and repeat until you have enough bottles. Now, you just can't get a mineral oil PC together by putting a bunch of PC parts in a tank, pouring mineral oil on it, and booting it up and expecting to have really good cooling. The only way for a mineral oil PC to actually do something proper and actually be worthwhile is to get a radiator to push the oil through, and that includes a lot of different stuff. I highly recommend you get a cheap 120 millimeter rad or 240 if you're feeling a little bit wild on Amazon and buy some cheap tubing that will fit it. For a pump, you want to go with something like a pond pump that is relatively fast. Because keep in mind, mineral oil is a lot thicker than water. Again, if you want to know specific recommendations, I'll leave them in the description down below. I know it's a lot and you should probably watch this video back multiple times if you plan on doing so. But a good rule of thumb for the size of the pond pump is 120 gallons per hour. Alright, so those are the basic concepts to making a mineral oil PC. Now if you want me to make a part 2 to this series where I actually get all the stuff and make another mineral oil PC, comment down below and let me know. They kind of are a pain in the ass because I have a bunch of mineral PCs already sitting around and I don't really want to add another one, but if there's the demand there, you know, I got to do it for you all. Now, for those who are struggling to find mineral oil in any of their locations anywhere, baby oil is a good substitute, so definitely consider that. It's kind of the exact same thing. The only difference is baby oil has added fragrances and moisturizing complexes to it, and we've used it before in other systems in mixture with mineral oil. I will not guarantee that a full baby oil system will work, but most people say it does work fine, so proceed with caution. I highly recommend going the mineral oil route if at all possible, because you know, we know it works. And I guess that's about it guys. If you like this video, leave a like down below. If you dislike this video, leave a dislike down below. Comment oil PC in the comment section down below if you made it this far, and let me know if you're interested in something like this. Also, if you're interested in picking up some parts for your very own mineral oil PC build, some recommendations will be in the description down below. Hope to see you on the next video, guys. Peace out.